Mm. Oh my god, this perfume just changed my day. Sometimes I just want to rush home after work just uh, because of my perfume shower routine and just because I want to apply this perfume. Yeah, there's something so, so comforting, so well being into this perfume. It's really like, it's a little candy. It's like a little toffee candy for me, uh, but very classy, very elegant. Yeah, Dove Nivea, uh, Nivea scent. So creamy, comforting with some toffee, uh, toffee notes on my skin. It's beautiful. Mm, magic, it's really magic. This perfume is like the perfect after shower uh, routine perfume beautiful mm, i just want to rush home just because i'm gonna apply this perfume Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another perfume review. And for new subscriber here, I'm Alice and I review every week chic, classy, iconic perfume. Some of them are raw and vintage. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment. Feminine, subtle, worthless, tender, a cashmere, soft, soapy scent with a toffee caramel on the dry down a beautiful perfume i love to use this perfume after work after a shower beautiful 90s perfume but very unique very original so today i'm going to review beautiful noah beautiful beautiful perfume i just rediscovered recently I'm obsessed about this perfume this is a beautiful after shower after work perfume so beautiful perfume i'm also uh, thinking to buy a big bottle because i love to use this perfume after shower so the big bottle you see, so just to look at the design of the bottle you see it's beautiful design so it looks like a pearl actually this is a very soft feminine delicate design i think i find it super elegant so i love pearl I'm obsessed about uh, Pearl. I think it's super feminine, super chic, super classy. And you, as you can see, the bottle looks like a Pearl, very delicate. I also love, you know, uh, the color of the cap. Actually, it's like a nacre, uh, a nacre color. It's very subtle, very delicate, exactly like the scent and the notes of this perfume. Nothing is loud, nothing is intense. It's not a sweet, sugary perfume. It's a very clean, feminine, a powdery perfume with a subtle gourmandish toffee caramel on the dry down but you're gonna get soapy and clean uh, notes soapy and clean direction and in the big bottle i just want to mention in the big bottle you're gonna find also a big pearl a pearl inside uh, the bottle so i decided to buy a big bottle because this is my after shower perfume for now. So Noah has been launched in 1998, so this is a 90s perfume, but I found it very different, very unique compared to the usual 90s perfume. 90s, 80s perfume, usually they are very strong, intense perfume. Usually they are very sugary or fruity uh, perfume with indolic flowers, opulent flowers, and some civet animalic notes on the dry down. Some of the 90s perfume will be, for example, Champagne by Yves Saint Laurent, which is also a very intense fruity perfume, Volupté uh, by Oscar de la Renta, also Montana perfume, uh, but it's a very different 90s perfume, not gonna find fruity notes in this perfume, not fruity, not sugary, a little bit sweet, but it's very subtle and it's on the dry down. This perfume is mostly flowery, cashmere, cashmere clean, soapy uh, scent with a little subtle gourmandish toffee uh, caramel on the dry down because of the coffee, because there is coffee in this perfume, but the coffee in this perfume on the dry down turns to, for me on my skin, a toffee, a toffee notes, toffee caramel scent, I find very pleasant. And I love also coffee into perfume. Uh, and over 
you know toffee uh, coffee perfume i just also love will be love by torrente which is a beautiful uh, coffee rose perfume uh, very oriental very flowery so if i want to define the notes of this perfume smell this perfume has a cashmere cashmere soft uh, powdery scent it's very cashmere when i wear this perfume a little bit sleepy that's why also i find it's the perfect after shower uh, before sleep perfume it has also some clean soapy notes like i said it's flowery some people also find some dove uh, dove direction of notes in this perfume so i love nivea i love the dove uh, nivea cream uh, scent i find it very powdery a little bit powdery it has a very clean a comforting scent i love nivea or dove scent uh, but you're gonna find also this direction in this perfume uh, to be honest you're gonna find something very clean yeah very clean a little bit soapy on the dry down but at the same time very powdery so let me smell this perfume when i'm going to describe um the direction the notes mm. i really like this perfume i really like it it's very pleasant it's clean it's simple it's a little bit fresh on the opening and on the dry down it's more flowery more powdery um you know the dove uh, dove nivea clean scent turned to something more powdery more flowery on the dry down um mm, and this coffee uh, on my skin this coffee turns to some toffee notes if you love uh, caramel if you love toffee uh, toffee is different compared to caramel toffee has more something more sweeter probably sweeter it's a combination of caramel and coffee actually it's exactly like that i got some something very caramel very coffee also on the dry down Mmm, I love this perfume. I really love, love, love this perfume. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed right now about this perfume into my routine. So when I go after work, you know, after a very long, uh, long hot day, um, this is such a comforting perfume after shower. Uh, you know, I have a very heavy uh, perfume routine um, usually after the day. I love to use powder, I love to use shower gel perfume. And this one, yeah, this one recently I love to use uh, Noah, you know, after shower, before going to sleep, when I put my pyjama. Mmm, yeah, and there is something soft of France in this perfume, a little bit nostalgic. Um, you know, Cacharel perfume usually inspire me a lot of soft of France notes. Um, you know, in Anaïs, Anaïs, it will be the potpourri uh, scent, potpourri direction with a lavender. And this one will be more like the Savon de Marseille clean soapy direction. Uh, the soapy notes are very subtle. It's not like Chalet number no. 5 or, you know, very aldehyde soapy uh, perfume. This one does not have any aldehyde, but the clean scent of this perfume is very obsessive. Uh, very interesting, very intriguing for me. Yeah, this clean scent inspire me like a morning in South of France when you uh, you go shower and you want to dress up and you prepare and you use a very beautiful clean um, savon de Marseille. Yeah, I'm so obsessed about this perfume and this perfume also have two layers. I'm gonna say two layers, two direction, which makes even more interesting even more beautiful actually so the first layers of the first direction will be uh, diaphanous clean white a little bit white in this perfume like i said um you know you're gonna get a very clean creamy uh, floral musky uh, direction because there is white musk in this perfume that's why you're gonna get something musky powdery clean um and it's like getting out uh, of the shower and you got this freshness on the opening. So the first layers will be diaphanous, white, clean, a showery, a dewy, a little bit dewy actually. Yeah, clean and creamy like the Dove. So that's why you're gonna get also like the Dove Nivea direction into this perfume. And the second layers is more, um, more marshmallow more mellow actually um, very different it's because of the smoothness and the creaminess 
of a ground coffee something a little bit more gruff like the ground fresh ground coffee coffee actually like the morning coffee uh, for me on my skin i got more of a creaminess of toffee actually like a combination of caramel sweet subtle caramel and very yeah grounded coffee but it's less rough it's less rough it's less rustic actually it's more creamy a little bit more sophisticated and on my skin it's exactly like i got toffee on my skin mm, i love this perfume because it's something simple um, noir tends to be very simple at the same time super complex because they are very different notes uh, the flower, the white mask, you're gonna get also uh, coffee on the base and something more musky, more ombre also on the dry down. But it's clean, it's simple, it's clean, it's fresh, it's feminine at the same time. For me, this perfume, it's not my day-to-day -day perfume, but it's more a perfume after work, after shower, before going to sleep actually, before going to bed. Uh, it's more a routine perfume for me than like... Uh, a special occasion perfume if I want to go out if I want to go out if I want to dress up of course I'm gonna wear Chanel number no. 5 uh, Giorissimo Ubigan which are my favorite perfume but this one will be more my routine perfume also I saw someone in the comments uh, when I was on Fragantica online I saw someone say this perfume it was a man actually he said this perfume is like a wife material for me uh, this perfume inspired me, the perfect wife material, and I think it's exactly like that. This perfume is comforting, feminine, you, 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 you feel cozy, you feel safe with this perfume, safe, cozy. Um, it's, really, it's really a well-being perfume, that's why it's a perfect after shower or before, uh, before going to bed perfume, because you feel comforting, cozy, warm, safe. Um, you feel good, uh, you feel also, of course, you're smelling super good with this perfume. Uh, it's really a wife material perfume and I find it super beautiful uh, to describe this perfume. Um, mm, I can't stop smelling this perfume and I'm addicted also about, you know, the coffee notes in this perfume. The coffee notes are very, very beautiful into this perfume. They are blended very well with the white musk. I think the white musk and the coffee are very, very, I blended very well. They tend to, to go together. Uh, very well yeah it's as comforting uh, as when you step out of the shower actually you just want to uh, be enveloped with this perfume it has also something very wonderful steamy cloudy it's like a steamy cloudy uh, soapy fresh uh, perfume and also you you're ready to go to sleep with this perfume there's something also very yeah very calm yeah there is something calm very appeasing about this perfume that just to love mm, oh my god let me uh, smell uh, one more time and i'm gonna give you also the different notes of this perfume because you're gonna see it's simple at the same time but the complexity of the notes and uh, all the different um, you know ingredients are very very interesting so on the opening you're gonna get also the creaminess of the white musk um, which also some people really compare to uh, the dove and the Nivea creaminess of the dove and the Nivea scent actually it's because of the white musk so you're gonna get something clean and creamy also on the opening uh, the peony, the freesia, uh, some green notes, or something a little bit fresh actually. Uh, the peach and the plume in this perfume are very, very subtle. Uh, very, very soft, very subtle, very discreet actually. There's nothing compared to uh, the 90s peachy perfume for compare for example to champagne or volupté uh, there's nothing super sweet on the opening it's very very subtle so i'm not going to describe this perfume as fruity actually and the plume in this perfume has nothing uh, to do compare also to lulu by cacherel you know the plume in lulu by cacherel is very very dark very resinous a dark almost uh, black actually the plume in low is really dark it's like uh, the plume has been burned for hours 
<laughs> into the sun or into sugar actually uh, it's like the, a plume jelly in, in Lulu if I remember very well it's very resinous very dark the plume in this perfume is super fresh a uh, super super fresh super delicate so it's a very different uh, vibe or style compared to Lulu by Cacharel so in the middle it's flowery um, very flowery, very very fresh all at the same time um, so you're gonna get the lily, the lily of the valley, the green grass, the jasmine, the ylang ylang and the rose and on the base it's very interesting uh, you're gonna get something very um, sweet on the base but still it's very discreet it's not a sweet sugary perfume I'm not gonna uh, describe this perfume as sweet actually but you're gonna get the toffee notes so uh, like the caramel, the musk, the amber, the vanilla and the coffee um, and it's because of the base of this perfume but in my, on my skin I got toffee notes. So on the base you're gonna get the coffee, of course, the vanilla, the coriander, so something a little bit spicy, sandalwood, incense, tonka bean, and cedar. So beautiful, beautiful perfume. I, I'm really, uh, you know, I'm really glad I discovered this one. Um, and it's definitely a perfume into my day-to-day -day routine. A beautiful perfume also for summer, for spring. Um, I don't see to wear myself this perfume for winter because usually I like something more spicy, more creamy, more intense during the winter. I love spiciness uh, when it comes to perfume, even food uh, for winter and autumn uh, season actually. So for example during the winter or autumn I'm usually I go for Chanty for example by Ubigan uh, which is more spicy, uh, more powdery and flowery, more intense actually. It's the perfect autumn winter uh, perfume and I will apply of course Chanty you know the body uh, the body cream and after the perfume it's a perfect summer spring perfume because it's very um i think the freshness and the creaminess of this perfume which is still subtle and delicate it's extremely pleasant uh, when there's like a heat wave or when it's very very warm very hot this perfume is clean and fresh and like the dove on Nivea it's extremely pleasant uh, to feel this, uh, you know, this cleanness, something very clean uh, when it's very hot, very warm. So perfect summer, spring perfume in my opinion. Perfect also routine uh, perfume, after shower perfume, before going to bed perfume. It's also something very calm, very appeasing, uh, very a little bit voluptuous, but very calm about this perfume. Uh, you apply this perfume and <laughs> you can uh, go to bed. It's very something very sleepy about this perfume, very comforting, very, very calm. I'm also looking for the uh, body uh, body gels and uh, the sh gel shower and the body cream of this perfume which is very very difficult to find. I'm also starting to build uh, my body cream, perfume body cream collection. So I want to buy Baiser Volley body cream, Chanel number no. 5 body cream, of course Ubigan uh, body cream. It's on my wish list. So I'm starting to build my collection. But I was also uh, looking for the um, you know body cream body lotion of this perfume because I think it's uh, it's the perfect after shower perfume and I usually I love also to uh, you know to put different layers so to put the lotion the powder and everything and I find also there's something super comforting super clean of this perfume and I was really really looking about uh, the body lotion I really want to apply the body lotion onto my skin after shower uh, but unfortunately it looks like it's super Super, super difficult to find the body lotion online uh, usually you can find some box but I think it's for Christmas or for holidays so um, yeah it's very difficult so if you find the body lotion uh, I strongly recommend you to rush or to buy uh, three or four of them so you have some uh, backup or some stock because it's difficult to find uh, the body lotion actually and I think the body lotion plus the perfume is the perfect uh, combination perfect combination and the cleanness of this perfume is obsessive to me so I really wanted to buy the body lotion so I made a review today of Noah by Cacharel beautiful beautiful cashmere soft uh, scent uh, very you know dove Nivea uh, notes with a toffee 
a gourmand toffee, delicate toffee on the dry down, so beautiful feminine after shower perfume, very interesting uh, 90s perfume, beautiful, beautiful perfume. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget also to leave a comment if you like, if you love Noah by Cacharel, if you used to wear this perfume, uh, I will be very interesting to know what do you think about this one, if you have also the body lotion, uh, and I see you very soon for another perfume review, bye!